It was President Kennedy who once said, building a road or highway isn't pretty, but it's something our economy needs to have. And I can tell you, beyond bridges in metropolitan areas, nowhere is that truer than rural America. We're seeing a rejuvenate, rejuvenation uh, because of the energy economy right now in rural Minnesota, as we are in so much of rural America. Senator Tester from Montana just talked about this. Uh, we're seeing biofuels, whether it's biodiesel, ethanol, moving to cellulosic ethanol, whether it's wind or solar. We are third in the country in Minnesota with wind energy, third in the country. And I have seen jobs, like in Pipestone, Minnesota, uh, where a group of people, 10 people, decided to quit their jobs and go work for a solar panel factory. And they were so proud of their work, they had me jump up and down on those solar panels to show that they could withstand hail damage. And they did. But I can tell you this, we're seeing these jobs, and we need courage in Washington that matches the courage of these employees in, in, uh, in Starbucks, Minnesota, or in Pipestone, where they've got the wind, uh, that the courage of these employees, that they're willing to see a better energy future, and this body and the other side is willing to shoot it down by shooting down those tax extenders for energy. This is the wave of the future. This is the way we're going to be investing in homegrown energy in the farmers and the workers of the Midwest instead of the oil cartels of the Mideast. So it's about the energy extenders for me and my state and across the country, but it's also about the transportation funding that came in replenishing that highway trust fund. And you know, when you start building this energy economy with the wind turbines and with the biofuels in the trucks going across these roads, you're going to put more stress on the roads and the rail in rural America. And if we're going to move to the next century economic system, we can't be stuck in the last century's transportation system. I'll give you some examples. Uh, the ethanol plant in Benson, Minnesota, now has over 525 fully loaded semis hauling the ethanol from their plant every week. This is a 45 million gallon facility. Their production falls about in the middle of our biodiesel facilities in Minnesota. SMI Hydraulics is a company in rural southwestern Minnesota that manufactures the bases for the wind towers that you see all across our country. This is a company that started as a barn, and these wind, uh, the wind towers that they manufacture actually come out of the side of the barn as they're employing dozens of people right in this little town. The heavy trucks that bring the steel to the company put a heavy burden on the road as they travel and are putting durability to a test. This truck travel and the need for more rail travel is part of our transportation future. But when the other side just shoots down our ability to even replenish the highway trust fund, we're not going to be moving in the right direction for our economy. We're not going to help these rural people to develop the true energy economy that they need to develop. You know, in his 1963 memoir, Mandate for Change, President Eisenhower famously said, he said, more than any single action by the government since the end of the war, this one would change the face of America. He was talking about the interstate highway system, its impact on the American economy, the jobs it would produce in manufacturing and construction, the rural areas it would open up was beyond calculation. Well, he was right. And just as he was right back in 1963, we know that he's still right in 2008. So the goal to turn down the replenishment of that highway trust fund and to stop America as we try to head to the new energy future as other countries are leapfrogging us because they have government policies in place that, that mandate these green jobs that move us to the right direction is just plain wrong. 